Our organization combines universities, cities and companies, both small and large, and works on innovation. So brings knowledge together with innovators and those innovators with markets. That's what our organization does. So innovators, they face uh, two, two, well, several problems, but two for problems that has to do with money. First, they need to get their technology out of the laboratory, so that requires money. And secondly, they need to scale it up, so they need to go to the market and then start to produce in numbers. And both those stages, they need financing. So it's very important in this whole ecosystem of innovation in clean tech that there is enough uh, finance and financial solutions for these companies. If I go to an example, on, uh, particularly on air quality, uh, as you may know, uh, cooling trucks, they use diesel. Now, the, the engines to, to move the truck, they are regulated, but not the auxiliary units that uh, provide the cooling. So, this is an opportunity for NIL, NIL Technology, a company from the UK that provides a liquid air a solution to provide both the cooling and the power for the, uh, for the truck at, uh, with no emissions. Mm -hmm. So to, to enable innovation, of course, it's very important to work with the uh, universities and technology institutes. And uh, from these institutes, uh, startups are sometimes come out of the university. And then these startups, of course, they need to be accelerated. Now, this is one of our roles. So we look at the technology, combine it with the market, with the launching customer, with finance, and put everything in place so that this technology can scale up. And uh, to solve some of the problems, particularly also air quality, we need to aggressively scale up the right technologies. Mm. So the, uh, the challenges in, uh, in scaling up uh, new technologies, they are, they are several, but uh, let me name two or three. Uh, one is always talent, of course. Talent is uh, scarce and talent have to, has to make a choice to uh, work for a startup. The second has to do with finance. There are two value of deaths for startups. One is when it comes out of the laboratory and the second one is when it needs to scale up and grow. And for both phases there is capital required, but it's early stage, it's seen as risky, so it would be very helpful as more, if more investors actually are uh, willing and able to invest in, uh, in clean tech startups.